know this is not a sponsored video, but before we start the show, I just have to talk about Army Men Strike. It's a mobile strategy game with toy soldiers unlike anything you've seen because, well, it is. Army Men Strike is falsely advertised with footage from a different game, Mean Green's Plastic Warfare. Army Men Strike rips off footage from the Mean Green's trailer, which you can see underneath the caption, and uses what I'm assuming is an in-game image underneath it to promote the rap. And it could have fooled me too, because after I saw that advertisement, I really wanted to go try out that game. I go to the Play Store, click on Army Men Strike, and I'm looking at the images, and I notice that there's no in-game pictures, pretty much. I didn't know what to expect, and I looked at the trailer that was on the App Store, and lo and behold, it was just a strategy game, completely unlike anything that was shown off in the advertisement. So just be wary of that. That's one of the ways I found Mean Greens in the first place. But developers, if you are watching, just, I would do something about that, you know, another game is over there using your own content. But without further ado, let's get right into the show. Hey guys, welcome to the first ever episode of Hidden Gems, a series where we take a look at games with lots of potential that went unnoticed. These games aren't necessarily bad, but they were abandoned by developers or they just struggled to keep a steady player base. I'm Yugot, and today we're taking a look at Mean Green's Plastic Warfare. It's an online, multiplayer only, third person shooter developed by Virtual Basement and Code Headquarters with miniature toy soldiers. The game released on Steam in early December of 2015, but it barely peaked at almost 3,000 players on January 28th of this year. As of this recording, there are currently 77 players in-game, and this is all according to the Steam database or SteamDB, which you can find more statistics on this game and any of your other favorite games, so I would definitely check that website out. The game costs $5 on Steam, but it has been on sale in the past for as low as a dollar. As it stands, Mean Greens is definitely worth its $5 price point, and it's one of the more creative shooters that I've seen. It features 13 maps and 10 various modes. You know, you got your team deathmatch, you got your free for all, your domination. But unlike most shooters, each map in this game has a unique objective. The map Barnyard Ball, for example, it's a farm style arena where the green and tan armies compete in an intense game of foosball. And we have Deep Freeze, which is a large freezer where players must free a dinosaur trapped inside an ice cube by melting it with their flamethrowers. There are instances where this dynamic between mode and map works really well, and there are other times when I'm impatiently just waiting for the match to end. Let's make it off the rails, I suppose. I, this is actually one of my worst oh my maps God. ever. I hate this map. I hate it because you have to go through the whole thing. As an example, playing Capture the Flag on a vast desert with jeeps scattered throughout it in the map Sandbox Showdown calls for some strategic teamwork reminiscent of Halo's Blood Gulch, but playing the same objective on Bathtub Bash can be more difficult to do with all the boats and all the ducks and it's kind of challenging actually, you know, you're getting sniped from across the map and, you know, it's, it's really hectic. Alright, come in, come in. It's like armor. Just duck, you know. Alright, I lit somebody up at the top of that boat. No, no, no. I died too. That's, that's the main reason I hate this map. I applaud the developers of Mean Greens for how balanced the game is. The objectives are evenly placed on the maps and no team ever has an unfair advantage. Every player is even given the same six weapons, which include an assault rifle, a sniper, a shotgun, a rocket launcher, a flamethrower, and even a grenade. Each weapon also has a cooldown timer after the ammo runs out. So no matter what, you're always in a firefight and man are they intense. At times it almost feels like I'm playing Fortnite because of how I'm constantly just jumping and switching to my other weapons without reloading or rolling and dodging stuff just to survive. Sure, some guns do more damage than others, like the shotgun and sniper rifle, but the developers either nerf or buff the weapons as they see fit to again maintain that balance. Ever since I joined the PC Master Race, using a controller to play any type of shooter gets harder and harder to do. Luckily though, Mean Greens has full controller support. Playing the game on a PS4 controller is fun, but I still manage to get my ass kicked. For the most part, the controllers are tight and accurate when using a controller or a keyboard and mouse, though something that bugged me when playing with a controller was switching across the five primary weapons. It was really hard to do because all of them are done with the press of a single button. There's like no option, at least that I know of, where I could map a certain button for a specific weapon, nor was there an option to cycle through the weapons using like the triggers or the bumpers. So 
there's that. And another thing that I noticed is that there's a slight delay when switching to weapons on a controller. It's not instant like in other titles, and I had this issue on keyboard and mouse during the first few times I played the game, but since then it's gotten patched. There's no leveling system in the game, which can leave some players wanting more, and although I've only played this game for about 10 hours, I've experienced everything there is to it, but that's not necessarily a bad thing, because the game is great. The audio is phenomenal, both the soundtrack and the sound effects are great, the sound that plays when you get a kill is very satisfying to hear, and the main theme always gets me pumped up. It's catchy and I find myself humming it even when I'm not playing. Additionally, each map has their own distinct version of the opening theme. There's one map that stands out in particular, it's essentially a table with a huge toy fortress on it, and it has xylophones acting as stairs. When you go up or down the stairs, the short melody that plays changes depending on the direction you're facing. It's this level of detail that truly shows how much the developers care about their game, and why it's so fun to play or just simply listen to the game. Of course, playing online with a group of friends is fun all the time, but the online system has its pros and cons. For one, the game supports up to 40 player lobbies with 20 players on each team, however queuing up with your squad is a little hard to do as there is currently no party system. The developers have discussed implementing that party system and hopefully we can see it in the near future. I cannot express how much of a community effort this game is on the official Mean Greens Discord. The server is riddled with suggestions by players on how to improve the game and the developers are constantly chiming in to discuss their current progress on the game and what we can expect in future updates. Jamie, who is the lead developer on the game, has already confirmed that they're working on an Xbox One and PS4 port of the game, and they have plans for a Nintendo Switch port later on too. Never in a game have I ever witnessed this type of communication between developers and the community. You know, they seem to really give what the players want, and they're very open to feedback, and I, I like that. It's greatly appreciated. And one of the biggest requests that players have been making is the addition of bots. Even though playing online with real people is more fun to do than against AI, adding bots to the game can potentially save it. No longer would I have to buy a copy of the game for each of my friends to fill a lobby because I can just invite one of them and fill the rest of the player slots with bots. And believe me, I'm willing to go that extra mile and buy multiple copies for everyone because it's that good. Some of the biggest AAA titles make us forget about games like these, so it's refreshing to see a small indie studio make a shooter better than most of them out there. Make sure to give Mean Greens a playthrough, I highly recommend it. Again, this is just my opinion here on Hidden Gem, where I discuss a game and hope to bring as much attention to it as possible and revitalize what could be an amazing experience. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments or on Twitter at underscore you got. I'd like to hear your thoughts on the game and how you like it or you don't like it. If you enjoyed the video, likes are greatly appreciated and don't forget to subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.